It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be loyal. It's okay to be forgiving. It's okay to be patient. It's okay to be understanding. It's okay to have long suffering. It's okay to love freely. It's okay to love. Don't feel bad. Don't look back at any spoiled relationships, uh, friendships that has been, uh, you know, died off and say, I was so stupid for loving this much. I was so stupid or I wasn't smart for trusting this friend to this degree. I wasn't smart for loaning someone money, someone believing someone's story who turned out to not be genuine. And now sometimes what happens is people who have that type of genuine decide to do a makeover where they say from now on, I'm going to be a dog. From now on, I'm going to be underhanded. From now on, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But I'm trying to tell you it is okay for you to be this way. I'm going to tell you as a person who have experienced this and at one point in my life started to say, okay, <laughs> two can play that game, dude. You know, I had to change that attitude. It wasn't until during my healing, a time of healing that the Lord's told me. Because I said, Lord, I wish I was not this way. And from now on, I'm going to be like this. I, I can't believe I've been so stupid to do this and that. And God said, then I must be stupid too. And you know what I learned from that and what he told me? You have the, when you have the ability to love that way, that is a gift from God. It is a gift from God. When you can love, when you have long suffering, when you can forgive, when you're patient, when you're kind, it is a gift from God. But here is the caveat. Here is the, here is, here is, I don't know the word I'm trying to find here. But here's the thing with things like that and this this is what the Lord revealed to me when you have a heart like that you must guard it guard your heart Proverbs tells you guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of life you must guard your heart how are you gonna guard your heart by the power of the Holy Spirit through discernment through his knowledge by using discretion by using his understanding and knowledge and you can't do that in your own you know with our you know human setups and and you know what we read about in the magazines and this is the way to protect yourself only God can protect such a treasure so you must run to God and allow him to help you to choose your friends wisely to choose your business deals wisely to choose business ventures wisely any path you take choosing it wisely and definitely in intimate relationships but I want to tell you something it is okay that you loved that way. It is okay that you trusted that way because that is a gift from Christ. But when you bestow that on the wrong people and in the wrong portion, guess what? You're going to get hurt. And then the enemy takes gifts such as you and tell you, oh, it makes no sense to be this way. And you become hardened and black and then you do this vicious cycle of good people, people who once had a genuine heart, had been hurt and wounded, going around and doing other people in. That is not what God wants for you. You must bring God your heart, bring him your pain, bring him your setbacks, bring it all to him. Let him teach you, let him clean you out and show you how to properly use that wonderful gift that he has given to you. Your ability to forgive in relationships, the, the ability for you to be patient and kind, it is not for just anybody. That ability to love, that level of love that you have within you, that is first of all, first and foremost for God. But when He gives you the right spouse and partner that is for you, that is for that person who will be deserving of that type of love. And you've got to realize that when you find that right person and that friend and even in friendly friendship relationship meaning this person is just a friend not male, male friends I'm talking about just you know genuine friendships okay what's going to happen is when you get the right people around you the right individuals are around you you won't have to be addressing and forgiving them for the same offense over and over again he will bring people around you that is like you 
But let me get back to the partner because a lot of times that's where we got hurt, right? A partner. Don't allow yourself to become so damaged that when you get the right person, you're not, you can't give them love. So let God heal you. And when he heals you, that level of patience and kindness is going to be given to someone who is deserving of it. And you're going to get the same thing from them. Don't allow any past relationship, past or present, to damage you and, 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 and dry you out so much to the point that when you have the right individual in your life, you are you just a hollow husk. You have nothing to give. And you're doing nothing but lashing out. Be okay with who you are, who you have been. Don't make yourself over. Don't try to hide and to build on and to bury that wonderful gift of loving, on you know, loving freely, and and giving kindness and patience and being a good friend and a loyal friend. Don't you allow the enemy to cause you to tarnish that and to throw that away. Don't hide yourself. That is a beautiful gift from God. But you have to let him heal you, restore you, that you'll be in a place to give that to the right partner and the right type of friends. All right, guys. Hope this makes sense. It's okay. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You have been given a beautiful, precious, valuable, wonderful gift from God that not a lot of people have. All right? Bye.